curl. So my palms are facing my body. Shoulders are open, legs connected. Imagine that you've got a nice little, boys, you don't have to connect your legs if you don't want to. But girls, imagine you've got this nice little tight stocking on that's squeezing those inner thighs towards each other. A slight little, glit, a little lift in the glutes. Bringing it up, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep those shoulders open. Nine. Ten. And if you, when I say shoulders open, think about the collarbones pulling from each other. Two. Three, four, check that no one's sitting with their feet underneath the chair. Five, six, keep those inner thighs active. Seven, eight, elbows right into the side fall. Nine, ten, hi Jonathan. One, two, three, Four, I should have guessed you were a Jonathan, I just thought you were a John. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to the side, one. Pull down from the back. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, stop when you get to shoulder height, don't go higher than shoulder height. Seven, eight, nine, visualize your anatomy at the back. Ten, so use your anatomy at the back as you come down. Two, three, that makes perfect sense to me. If that doesn't make sense to you, send me a message. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see how hot Mandy is on counting when she's doing it out in front of you. One, two, I can't talk. <laughs> three. Four, five, nice straight backs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, rest, five, four, three, two, one, two, the front, one, two, Three, four, keep those shoulders open. Five, six, seven, eight, neutral spines, nine, ten, and one, two, three, Four, check you're in neutral. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten. So I made a pre recorded video yesterday for you for one of the sessions when I'm away. But because you guys are not online looking at me, somehow Max and Scarlett sensed that there was not a real class going on and Max played havoc on my feet the whole way through the session. So it might be slightly entertaining to watch because he's got a bit of a foot fetish happening with me in general. Mm. Last one? Mm -hmm. All right, so 
we are then going into shoulder press. So you could go, I'm going to stay with a 0.5. You could do a 1 or a 0.5, whatever you prefer, guys. Boys, you go as heavy as you want. Arms are out to the side. It's a half press. One. Two. Three. Here's the visualization of the back anatomy again as you come down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Don't let the legs spring out to the sides, girls. Ten. One. Two. Boys, you have optional. You can have your legs closed or slightly open. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, Georgia. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. You've got a five second break. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms come all the way up to the top. They tap, bring it down. One, bring it down. Two, three, four. Not so far down, Georgia, five. Six, keep checking that you've got your abs on. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep visualizing that back anatomy. Nine, ten. Keep activating the abs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms back up. Pec press. Pull it in. One. Try to get the elbows towards each other. Two. I can't do this. Three. Try to get the elbows together. And another four. Elbows. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and ten. If you do have slight shoulder tendonitis and you need to stop, you can stop. Two, three, four, five. Could be a bit tweaky on the tendonitis. Six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Have a small rest. 
Definitely going to go over the one kilo here. We're going to go for a tricep overhead. Choose your weights, boys. Go heavy. Be careful with your head jack, with that big spiky thing coming down. Arms are up. Holding on to the base of the weights. Elongate up. One. Two. Three. Be careful you don't dong yourself in the head. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Ten again if you've got a shoulder tendonitis and it's starting to hurt, drop your arms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm going to move it on my left shoulder, pull to the front. Okay. Um, Elbows parallel. Okay, so I'm going to drop to a, a 0.5, but you could easily do a 1 if you wanted to challenge yourself. Arms around in front. Boys, you could go heavy. Pull back in. Use your back anatomy. You get your arms, your, your, bring your hands up. There. Yeah. My arms are level, my palms are level with my elbows. Press back. And pull. Four, five, six, am I counting every two? Yeah. <laughs> Ten. We'll be here all day. Wow. I'm jumping and I'm, I'm, I'm missing a number and two. <laughs> Take one arm across. Change sides. I want to do a glute stretch here. I know that some of you don't like it, but just persevere with it. Just go to what is your comfort level. Place the side of the foot on your leg. Lift up out of your back. Drop forward. Oh, that's about as far as I can go forward at the moment as well. So if you let this elbow rest on the leg, that just acts like a bit of the weight. 
If you can go all the way forward, go all the way forward, of course, if you're that flexible through your glutes. Take a breath in and out and change legs. Tip forward. Now I forgot to tell everyone we need a yoga block. I have to get the yoga blocks out. Take a deep breath in and breath out. And in and out. We're going to come down to the floor, grab your yoga blocks. Give me a second to grab my yoga blocks. one-ish for me. So expect a little bit of whinging from, from, from me and I'm also not even sure whether I can do it with the injuries I have in my arm, my wrist and my shoulder. But I'm going to give it a good crack and go and if it starts to hurt I'm going to drop down. So those of you that do definitely do not like being on your wrist, you're going to have to do it like this. It's going to be a lot easier for you. Those of you that can handle being on the wrist, Let's come up on the wrist because that's what the challenge of the exercise is. So you've got your block. Do they want leg weights? You could put leg weights on now, but like only if you really want to be brutal to yourself. And Ella puts her leg weight on. I just prefer that Mandy go out. Mandy doesn't have any to get to. She wishes she could. No one else is putting on a leg weight. Good. Okay. We'll just give Ella a little bit of time to get those weights on. Okay. So we have hand on the block. Other hand comes behind the head. Lift the leg a little bit. One. Two. Three. Four. Comfortable. I didn't think it was going to be comfortable. Seven. Again, if it's too much, you lay down. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Four. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, yeah, leg weight completely unnecessary at this point. Three, two, one. Change sides. Oh, I reckon it's a standing leg that hurts. Yeah, the whole body has to work to hold that position. That's why if you can do it up, try doing it up just to get that all over body, all over body workout. Lifting up. One, it doesn't have to be a high lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're getting the glute made to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. Good idea, Jenna. I forgot to say, I'm on this really lovely cushy mat, so if it's hard on the knee, whack a pillow under your knee. 
We've got a little bit more to go. We're only at stage one of the series. First side. Again, if it's too much, you lay down, you do exactly the same, but laying down on the floor. We lift it, we tap it to the front. We lift it back just behind us, to the front, and back, front, and back. It's only a little to the back, Karina. Front, and back, front, and back. Just slightly to the back, front, and back, which is just for 10. Front, and back, Front, back, front, back, front, and back. Change sides. And front, back, two, three. Five, keep lifting from these underneath obliques. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First side. Arm comes back behind the head. You lift, crunch in. Elbow to knee, press, in, press, three, four, now that underneath butt cheek is going to be starting to get active, eight, four, five, five. six, now as you crunch it in, use your abs, seven, Eight, extend, use your abs. Nine, ten. So this underneath knee, sorry, this underneath glute is starting to stabilize by holding that position. And knee, elbow, abdominals. Abdominals as you come in, abdominals as you go out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one of the series, change sides. Arm comes over the head, elongate, lift, slight lift, circle one. So elongate the foot and the uh, hand away from each other, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, four, eight, four, nine, ten. Four. Are you hot? Yes, I'm hot. Can you turn the heater off? <laughs> yes, I'll turn the heater off. <laughs> Elongate the arm out. Elongate leg and toe from each other, leg and toe, hand and toes, circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Nice 
series. Hey? No series. Yeah, we can build on that. Yes. So we lay on our sides, please. Keep your leg weight on, Anella. Um, now, you could have a pillow. I think I'm going to need a pillow for my arm. I can't lay with it underneath. So you could have option, normal laying position on the arm, or you can have a pillow under your head so you don't have to have your arm extended. Out into a chair position. Flex the feet, extend this leg. Push this hip this way slightly. Lift the leg, one. And down. Two. Contract the hamstring butt connection point a little bit. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. In, press, one. Contract the hamstring butt connection point. Two, shoulder down, three. That was for you, Pia. Four. Eight, keep that hamstring butt connection point on. Nine. And ten. Hold it while I look for the next one. Leg opening, leg break. I know, have a little break. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it back up, flex the foot. Circles. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend it back out. Cycle it in. Extend it. Pull it back. Cycle. Now, this is not in a clam position, this leg. This is right up in a seated position. If you're not like this, it's got to be up. Four, five, six. Oh, that's quite hard. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Rest. Mm -mm. I can't. Now we stay in a clam here, but we're in a completely different clam that we've never done this position before. So we keep the heels together. One. So you're not going to be able to open your leg too much. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Onto the knee. One. Or oh, 
sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a rest. There's still one more to go in the series. Just give it five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Elongate it out the front. Tap down. Lift one. Two. Oh, ho, ho. Three. Four. started to relax Jack we just tighten them back up again all right let's change sides see if we can lay on that leg no that was quite a long series to remember I don't need my notes Chair position. Elongate the leg out. Hip pushes that way. Lifting one, two, three, four, five. Oh, how's that underneath leg feeling, everyone? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it straight in. Hamstring butt connection pushes. Press one, two, three, four. seconds to rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift, flex, circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. Sticking that leg behind you is actually quite a nice relief for that muscle. Into the cycle. Cycling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, even though 
side work is hard, it's kind of nice because you are laying down. Eight, nine, ten. So there's half of you that's relaxed, just the other half not quite relaxed. Flex the feet, open, one. Two, don't let the hip bone move backwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees and one. Oh yeah, we are. We're about to go on a huge big Pilates bender together for the next six days. Those of you that are coming to all the classes. Oh, how many is that? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm going to be bouncing off the aeroplane chair with my glutes. Elongate the leg out. Tap one. Two, three, four, five, six, or laying in the laying in the middle of section, trigger pointing my glutes for the ball. Oh, eight, nine, ten. Rest. In the aisle. In the aisle. I'll be in the aisle with my little trigger point ball. And laying on your back. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Breath in. And breath out. And coming up to a now question, Mandy, how long have I got? Um, 20 minutes. Should we do the Sweet Spot series tonight? Up to you. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do Sweet Spot series, a new way of doing it. What's a variation? A variation, a Mandy variation. That I just, she just taught me before, which I really liked. So, uh, now, those of us that have back injuries, we're gonna go into your sweet spot and you're gonna hold it for a minute. Then we're gonna do the sweet spots with no hands. Uh, John, you're gonna be careful that you don't take yourself into the part of your back that's sore. And if it does get to be too much, you just come out and rest. Don't hold it. And then just do the actual sweet spots and you can use your hands. Anyone else in here that's back is a bit sore as well, you're not gonna go into the sore bit and hang there for a minute. You're gonna try and find another part of your back to hang into, me included. Okay, here we go. So we are not using our hands. She's timing us. Yeah. And fold back and hold. Breathe. And breathe. Got a nice little ice cream scoop, the scoop from the pubic bone to the belly button. So far, so good. Quite easy so far. She's just looking at me in the background like, mm hmm You'll be complaining in about a minute or two. This is going to be interesting in the vomit spot at the bottom. There's no vomit spot. Yeah, if you do the sweet spots, we bury it down. Huh? Roll. Yeah. Okay. Where are we at, Mandy? Three. Two. One. Pulse. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, twist, one. No, it's 30 to 20. Two, oh. three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. So I just stay and do 30 in the centre, not yeah, on the sides. Yeah, then we do like a minute hold on the side, then we do a minute hold and do 30 holds. Oh, we can do that variation tomorrow. Variation <laughs> one is tonight. <laughs> okay, stage two, take it down a bit further, please. And hold. Mm. Bit more cheeky feeling. So Manny's original idea, before I interpreted it wrong, was that we hold a minute in each position, then pulse. Don't worry, it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> oh, With your legs up. How many more, Mandy? With your, don't you all complaining already now? For 20 seconds. <laughs> Down. That's what you said. Sorry. My palm is down. 
Oh, that hurts. <laughs> now we're going to lift our legs, we're going to activate our serratus anterior, and we're going to lift up one. Drop back down. Your alternative is if you, alternative is you don't lift your head at all. Two. Three, that palm being down is giving you that nice base of support at the front. Four. Five. Six, think of the serratus and the hips coming together. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Change sides. That's good on top of the burn. <sighs> yes, that is quite a nice layering in effect after what we just did with the sweet spots. Hand facing down, hand behind the head, feet aligned with your hips. Activate through here, lift up, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. Now, for those of you that do not like holding your head up, your alternative for this is you come up and you take your hand underneath your head and you hold your head. Or you can go a little bit and a little bit and do like bits and pieces of holding your head and not holding your head. So, you come up into the position and you stay up. Legs lift. Serratus anterior on. Lift one, two. Find your serratus a little bit more so. Three. So pull that shoulder down. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Change sides. Time check. Nine. What are we doing? My hand goes there. Serratus on. Lift. Lift legs. One, two, keep pulling down three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten per side. Lift up, hold, in, lift, flex, drop. In, lift, flex, drop. Keep pulling through here to activate those obliques. If it gets too much on the neck, alternative to holding the head, you can always turn the head down, which will then make it a little less aggravating on the leg, leg muscles. Neck muscles. Leg muscles. Neck muscles. <laughs> Gosh, I need a holiday. Oh. 
Come and set. Nine. And ten. Change sides. Legs lifted, serratus on, one, two, three, come up a little higher Karina, it'll make it, it'll make it nicer on your upper body if you come up that smidge, I can't, okay. <laughs> but if you're sort of halfway here, that's quite hard on the neck, so just getting, trying to get that little bit up further kind of takes the load off the neck. How many? And 10. Very good, coming into a pretzel position. Yeah? We've got, we've got quite a bit that we haven't done. Pretzel, scissors, like jackknife. I'd go to scissors and jackknife rather than pretzel. Scissors and jack knife rather than the pretzel. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming back into the laying down position. We're not doing the pretzel. Keeping your head down. Shoulder down. So start with the first top leg first, just doing the top leg, and then you do double. Okay, so well, hang on. So the top leg lifts? No, the top leg goes front to back. No, I'm going to do the scissors because oh, I'm getting sorry. confused. Okay. okay, so the legs lift. Scissor, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, ten more. So Mandy and I both wrote class today at different points of the day and then we came together and put it together. So that's why there are a few things I'm a little bit unsure of, which they'll be coming tomorrow instead. Two. And one. Eight. Nine. Nine. <laughs> and ten. Change sides. Natalia, we're going to miss your counting. Lift, scissor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, okay, now, next one, John, I don't want you to do this. I'm even tentative doing it myself, goodbye Paul. So John, you can just sit there and uh, maybe do a psoas stretch to finish. Everyone else, we're going to attempt this as well. Um, so, it's a new one for me. You lay back. No, this is, am, I, am I resting on this hand or elbow? Hand. Hand. So my hand is going back. I'm resting on my hand. I'm on a slight angle. My hips are going back slightly. <laughs> Lift. One. So just let me show you what it looks like from the other angle for you. One. And two. And three. Be careful, Jack, you've got big long legs. Four. Five. 
four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I like that. All right, that's coming back. That one's that one's coming back. All right, so we tip. Hang on, trying to get the position. Goodbye, Elizabeth. So we tip over this way first. I think that's the better way to go into it. Arm comes behind you. Tip back. Lift. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Right. We're going to get a jackknife. That's a jackknife. I'm going to play around with that. So if I can still walk tomorrow from doing that, then we're going to do some variations on that. We'll see how my back copes with that one. But if it copes well, I want that one to come back in because I like that angle. Gets indifferent. We're finished, Thanks, guys. Matt.